Hello, my name is Gabriel from Gavac USA. In this video, we are going to continue with a series of videos how to be a computer technician. So if you are interested in that, remember that you can go to the playlist and then you can see the, the other videos that I made before. So let's, let's start with the video is communication skills. So that is very important because people don't, don't know or maybe you don't know but when you go to a customer for the first time or maybe it's the second or third time, I don't know, maybe it's a customer for years, and you go and you talk with the manager or you talk with the secretary or the receptionist and they, they don't know what's going on, they know that the email is not working or the computer is not powering it on or they have some problem with the network, they cannot print or they cannot surf or something like that. Um, you don't know what's going on. So you have to play a role of detective. So you have to start seeing uh, all that is around you, start paying attention to the small details and try to talk with them very clearly so they can explain you when it happened and then you can start saying, okay, when you start, what have you done? Some people, they will tell you, ah, yeah, when I, I just, I was moving the breakers and then the computer stopped working or maybe I smell something that was burning and then I, the computer is not working or the network is not working or something happened. Then you have to pay attention to those details. Many technicians, maybe they go and they go to a huge place, 50 computers, 100 computers, and they start looking around, trying to talk with everyone. Was I mean, asking for everything that they can think of, and they might find the problem or may not, or it will take a long time. So if you can try to talk with the key persons and ask for a few things, like I said. When it happened, what have you done to make it happen? Like, I mean, when, what have you done in order to ha got this error or the computer was not working or whatever was the, um, the issue? And, and then they will tell you, oh, yeah, like I said before, I moved the breaker, I smell something burning or something like that. And then I had a, a, another customer calling me and say, hey, the computer is not, wor it's not turning on. I mean, I was working and suddenly the computer is. Yeah, I don't see anything, the screen is black and something like that. And uh, then I say, okay, but you check every, everything, the, the the cable is connected to the outlet and everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they might say, yeah, yeah, just so you go, <laughs> that's it. Um, and then I go to the place, I say, oh, but the, the computer is not connected to the outlet, so that is why it's not working. The guy say, oh. Oh, seriously, I didn't realize. And then all kinds of excuses and they have to pay. <laughs> so if you if you go just and they waste your time. So that is what you have to make very clear from the beginning. If you if I can and it's something that is not uh, within the monthly maintenance or whatever, you have to pay or if you don't or if you're not offering a monthly maintenance, and you go just because in emergency, they have to pay for your time. I mean, even if, if it is something as simple as plug it in, the cable and the computer will work, or, or it's something more serious, like changing the power supply, or maybe you have a network or something like that. Uh, that's, those are things that have to be clear before you leave your office or your home or wherever you're working from. So sometimes I had some, I had some uh, customer that they they have the a switch like I'm showing you right now, and they they saw a cable that was hanging. I was say, oh, cable is hanging. Uh, maybe I have to connect it in the other port of the switch. So they they connected like that in the other switch. This is a switch, <laughs> and they it start the looping, and all the the network crash and stop working, and they have no internet, no email, no anything like something like that, and. Sometimes they will tell you that, and most often they will not. <laughs> so, or, or maybe the person that have done that, they they left or whatever. They are they took a few hours for lunch or whatever, and they have done something like that. Or maybe you have like many uh, computers in the in the office, and maybe sometimes they have just one port for 
uh, internet and you, ha and you have maybe in this uh, table like five computers and then they buy those little switch and then do the, do the, they do the same thing like, like here. Maybe they say, oh, this cable is, is loosened and so we're going to connect it back as it was before and then they, they take down the whole network for foolish things. Uh, foolish for us, of course. But for people who doesn't know, they think that everything has to be plugged. Um, they they may break things. So, uh, like I said before, always with, with respect. It doesn't matter if we talk with the manager, the owner, or the secretary. We have to be very clear with our words. Try to be very respectful. Like I said before, and we are we we have all the same rights. As human beings, so we because someone doesn't have a very high uh, position in a, a corporation or a company, we don't have to uh, treat them badly or something like that, or with respect. Uh, so that is one thing that we have to learn as uh, technicians. If you want to learn this skill, communication skill is, is very important. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Like it if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it, subscribe to my channel and wait for the next class about more uh, how to be a computer technician. See you next time.